Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do reverse Twixter, which looks like this. In fact, I do have some more examples. So obviously we've got this one, which is the first, and you can do something else like this, which is a bit more snappier. So it deaccelerates a bit quicker like that. Uh, actually, that's not really the best example. Let me show you another one. Something like this, which again, uh, doesn't really look the best. And I think it depends on your clip. So if you do have a better example, then it will look much better. And the final one is like this, which is very, uh, I think, common in flow edit. I'm not entirely sure, but you can see the end bit is very snappy like that. So you know what? Let's just focus on example one and also example three, which is this one. So assuming you've already prepared your clip, so removed all these still frames, adjustment layer there and nested it, copy down my settings if you would like to. So image prep, delinearize and also forward for the warping. Now, I highly recommend using frame number instead of speed for the time remap mode. And this is something that I will be applying across my next few Twixter tutorials. It seems to work better than speed, at least for me. So really what you need to do is head all the way to the beginning and keyframe the frame number. Make sure it's at zero and you want to head to the center of your clip. So mine is about 5, 10, 15, 20 frames long. So it would be 10 frames so just there and you want to increase this value until it goes pitch black so for me it's five meaning you need to go one frame back from that point on so it's four that value is going to be your second keyframe so just leave it as that and you're going to graph this so as always open it up and just pull this second handle all the way to your left in fact we can use the velocity to help us so if i just head one frame back from the second keyframe and just adjust it making sure that it's at zero or a similar value so 1.4 is fine if i can get it to a closer value to zero then that would be great no okay you know what that's fine so far this is what i have now we need to make the final keyframe so head towards the end one frame back as always from the end so just there and decrease it so turn it down back to zero and all you need to do is just click on the middle keyframe and pull this out in fact i'm going to use the velocity to help me because it is a bit tight so what you need to do is just pull this handle all the way to the right make sure that it's either a negative value or a solid zero so there you go perfect it's at zero so it should look something like this so far and you know it is pretty good and of course we can make adjustments like for example we can tighten this up like so maybe like that perfect and yeah if you're happy with it then leave it as it is um but if you want to you can of course use the the third example i showed you at the beginning so if you want to you can move this middle keyframe down here somewhere so maybe about one two three yeah so just leave a three frame gap between the second and the third and it should look something like this hopefully so yeah that's pretty much all you need to do members if you do need the project file i have put it up on the shop i mean i doubt it will help but you know if it does help then great if it doesn't i'm sorry but thank you for watching peace